And I already pressed the button. Good morning. I got water everywhere. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. <laughs> We're having confessions and conversations. My name is Yamitra Jojo Waddell, and I can't get it to stay. My name is Yamitra Jojo Waddell, the only. In these, in these days, she struggles to keep up. <laughs> the only live fast, crazy specials. So, what better place to be than here with me? Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show, the car edition. School has started back. So, we are back in the vehicle. So good morning, everyone, and how do you do? I like to introduce myself. I don't know why all of a sudden like this, y'all, I'm going to get this together. But the internet keeps going in and out, and I'm not sure why. All right, so let me go ahead, and I hope everybody had a great weekend. I hope you were safe. I made it to the beach one more time this weekend i did not want to come back to the beach the first time. <laughs> yes um so we went to the beach and we relaxed and had a good time so <sighs> it's a wonderful monday morning how about that because i'm still sleeping i love the water i love the beach i tried to get a tan and again it did not work like i was in the sun all day saturday just laying and in the water and in the ocean and nothing happened why can't i tan it's okay yeah rosie tan courtney tan excellently i did not so if you didn't watch the show this past week please make sure you go back and check out um be careful make sure you catch um some of the replays over there and i've got to load them to youtube but yeah i wanted to have like a for real always do uh, a biggie for me today you got everything this one is a biggie for me today and i thought about this yesterday and um so i thought i would share because maybe somebody is uh going through this or maybe you know i don't know i'm i'm just go good morning kiva how you doing my sister um, so I don't I'm hoping this is going to help somebody but we're going to do a for real confession and conversation something that was uh, It was a hard lesson for me to learn and something really hard. Have a great day. Love you. Be peaceful Be peaceful. It was hard for me to overcome and it was hard for me to overcome because I Didn't want to admit it. I because it wasn't real to me. So My name is Jojo and I'm a bully I'm a reformed bully. Biggest bully you will ever, ever, ever see. Biggest bully. And I was a bully with my mouth. Not necessarily my actions. I was a bully with my mouth. And let me tell you how that came to be. So, most of my life, I've just been, you know, get along Joe. Whatever. I, you know... I'm getting along with everybody and I'm going to do whatever anybody says do. I don't ruffle feathers. I don't, I just didn't do that. That was something I just, you know, it may have gotten me in a lot of trouble, but you know, it's what I did. And actually me, that, that has gotten me into so much financial debt. It was, un it got me in a lot of financial debt. It got me in a lot of personal trouble. It got me into a lot of things that now, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I wish I would have done things differently. So I was always one of the girls who I just went along with everybody. I mean, I didn't really fit in with the nerds. I didn't fit in with the, with the sports people. I wasn't nerdy enough. I wasn't athletic enough. I was just somewhere in between. And so I just went along with everybody. And... I like to say that I was my own person, but no person with whatever group I was with. And so this is how I became a bully. I became a bully when after I left my abuser and I had to, and I wasn't a bully after I left him because I was a hot mess. I, I, you know, I, I couldn't even, I, there was nothing I could mentally, physically, emotionally do for myself. But when I learned 
And it, this is, y'all, so I don't want y'all to be like me. Because this is a fine line in your growth period, okay? Especially when you're getting over somebody hurting you. Over the church. I'm a nation hurting me. I had to get over my ex-husband hurting me. My family. my fr I had a lot of stuff to get over. And in the process of me growing, and I and I didn't have uh, um, I didn't have a guideline of growth. I didn't have a way to follow. And I'm fear I'm figuring my growth out as I go. I didn't necessarily have a way. And so as I was growing, and as I was developing me, and I'm learning, you know, things that I say now. Rest in your strengths, you know, every day. And as I'm learning these things that I say now all the time, I'm learning them in arrogance in the beginning. I'm learning them in absolute arrogance so that I became a bully. I became the person that I hated in my ex-husband. I became that person because I went from one extreme to the other because I, w I was refusing to let anybody else help hurt me that was never going to happen like there was no way in hell anybody was going to hit me talk down to me there was no way a friend was going to do things to me or, or force me to do this i was standing up to myself for myself and darn it i'm standing up for myself and i don't care how you take it i don't care how you feel this is what i'm going to do and i became a bully and y'all know i'm a lover of words and I became a bully with my words. And my mouth became so slick that I knew when I looked at people and I said, thank good morning, Charlene. And I said things intentionally and on purpose to her. I, like, why are you saying this to me? And I could feel me saying, Jojo, you used to feel that way, but I, I, I couldn't stop. I, w I was a bully to the 19th power because I was so focused on, I'm not even going to give you the space to even think that you can hurt me. So I'm going to eat you alive. Or because I've been told what to do for so long, or because I've been going alone to get along for so long, I'm going to bully you into doing it my way that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bully you into doing it my way and so on this personal growth journey there is such a fine line of being arrogant and being a bully and being a hum being humble and growing and i went through all aspects of that all of them and it is a ugly place to be when you have to admit that perhaps you are the bully you are the you have turned into the person that you hate you 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 have been i ain't gonna say anybody you've taken on their characteristics and so i became such a bully that if you opposed anything that i wanted to do i was angry like i was mad we're going to do what i want to do period it's just not up for discussion. We're going to do what I want to do. And then I was justifying it and backing it up. Well, because, you know, the last man did this. And my last husband did this. And my old friend, well, she did this. And, well, my family, the other caused me to be the bully. And I was a bully because I felt like I needed to protect myself. I felt like I deserved to be a bully like I, I really deserve to tell people what to do because you know this has happened to me you know because maybe my life wasn't perfect so now I get to be a you know well I've worked hard for my education so let me be a bully inside the workplace well I've worked hard for my position so let me be a bully in this way think of you know a kid somebody beating somebody up Sometimes a bully is making a suggestion to a friend in such a way that you eat at their confidence. That happened to me. I did it and it was done to me. And Or maybe being a bully is somebody like your family really wants to do something and you're always the deciding factor. They always want you to adjust or they you're always adjust they're always adjusting to you. You're the final decision maker. Well, if Joe or if you go and you're angry and you're upset when you're there all the time, that's a bully. 
or if they're trying really hard to please you there's some people you're just not going to be able to and you never have anything good to say i don't like this food i don't like eating this and i don't like going here and i just and everything that's kind of a bully because now everybody is kind of readjusting themselves and everything is situated around you i've been a bully let me tell you being a bully and it was and I, I was becoming a bully in every aspect of my life like to the 19th power and it was it's an ugly place because I felt like I deserved to be a bully because I've been hurt so much. I felt like I was justified and I was right in being a bully. When all honesty, when you're being a bully and you please use any other word you want to use there, that's the word that I have. Forceful, not compromising, whatever word you want to use there, knock yourself out. But when I got talked about being committed to the idea and the power of a decision that the the hidden power is inside of your hand that when i really had that conversation with jojo and i said wow let's why are you still not having good relationships or why are things still not working out for you and i had to admit to myself that perhaps I was the reason why things were not working out for me or that I still had bad relationships. Yeah, there was other people's part in it, but what part did I play? And then when I started to look at my thought process and my habits and my mouth and the words and my actions, then I realized that perhaps I was the problem. I was the bully. And let me tell y'all something. That is a hurtful <laughs> ugly it's ugly it is so ugly when when you get true and you had that truth conversation with yourself i would like to think i was always a nice person and i was not i felt like i was nice and some people may have never experienced but if you have i apologize because yes i was a bully and some days this is why i'm always mindful of my thoughts and my actions um of, wh of what I'm saying and what I'm doing because if you're not always mindful you can always slip back in into habits because something can trigger you and you can instantaneously be right back in that same place so what I want you to learn from me number one is no matter the hurt no matter the frustration no matter the anger the sadness do not allow it to turn you into a bully because then you are doing the exact thing that you that you just experienced you're doing that and it's not protecting you from anything you're not protecting yourself you're not saving yourself from any hurt you're actually causing more damage than good trust me i don't want you to be like jojo okay don't be a bully don't be um don't be so forceful that people assume i've had that play out in my relationships where I have been forceful, like, I don't care. It's my way or the highway, dog. And I don't even, you know, I don't even know what else to tell you. And my girls would tell you, that's my favorite word to say. I don't even know what else to tell you. Either you're going to do this or you're going to do this. It's just, it is what it is. And so I had to find the happy medium of me speaking my truth, me standing up for myself, me doing what was right for me and doing it in a respectful way of myself i had to be respectful of me and respectful of the other person because when you're a bully you're not really respectful of yourself because when you're a bully it's just evident that you really haven't healed from everything and so now you have this aggression and anger that you need to take out on somebody and here come poor joe and you're just going to take it out on him just because he happened to be there and he said the right words that hit the right triggers and now you take it out on him i'm guilty of all of that all of it don't be like jojo please don't be a bully now i will say <laughs> let me i've had to be forceful and stand my ground about things that um attacked my character you know you you know the fine line that you cross like if it's attacking your character or you're having problems with this and it really is a problem there's a difference between being a bully and you confidently standing your ground and identifying 
the new rules to you and what is acceptable and what is not being a bully is i'm t i'm going above and beyond that and i'm ugly and i found that the thing that that hurt me the most i was take like my abuser hurt me the most or my family and my friends and because i hadn't really dealt with it all the way it was showing up i was being mean to other people i was being mean to my children like there was no there was no middle ground for anybody it's just all out bully jojo all out and if i would want it to be nice it was nice my nice Meaning I want to be nice to you how I want to be nice to you. I don't want to be the way that you only want to be nice my way. Please don't be like JoJo. Don't be a bully. And some people will be like, JoJo, you're not a bully. Oh, but I was. <laughs> oh yeah. It was it was real ugly. So one of the one of the first steps to getting past being a bully, guys, is admit that maybe I'm being angry. Or maybe I'm being a bully about this situation because I, I'm angry about something that I haven't checked yet. Or something has hurt me. Whatever it may be, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take a minute to do the work to figure that part out. That's what I had to do. Like, why do you keep being a bully about this situation? Well, that's because you're still mad about it and you're still angry about it. But why? It's because you, you never really healed. Why not? Because it was hard work. Well, why didn't you do the work? I didn't want to. Why not? Because it was easy to deal with my comfort of crazy than my discipline of freedom. Duh. I don't want to. That's why I'm still mean and mad and angry and sad and depressed and frustrated and I'm an angry black woman. It's because I haven't done the work to heal. Oh, but JoJo, I prayed. Yep. But did you do the work of the prayer? I go to church every Sunday. But did you do the work of it? Oh, but I've done what I needed to do. But did you do the work that was really required for you to do? Did you half do it? Did you sometime do it? Did you kind of sort of not maybe all the way? Because ain't nobody really going to see me. So who going to know if I did it or not did it? You will know. If you're not your own standard, then it's it's going to be difficult. The road is going to get bumpy. It's going to get bumpy. It's going to get ugly. And then your relationships are going to suffer. Okay? And they will suffer in a way that it's, it's going to blow your mind. Like, why is this not working? It's not working because at the end of the day, we got to do the work. I don't even... There's no way around it. You got to do the work on yourself. And until we are ready to admit that, and let me tell you, I have lost, I've lost great friendships. I've lost a lot of things because I was a bully and arrogant with the bulliness. Like, because I've been hurt, you're not fixing to do this to me. And I was, y'all, all the way arrogant with it. All the way. Don't be like me, please. So... Number one, to get past being a bully, take time to think about why are you, why are you acting that way? Is it something? Keep asking yourself the questions and keep searching for what's really going on. And at the core of mine, I was being a bully because I didn't want to be hurt. So if I could just be mean first and go ahead and get it over with, or if I could dictate every aspect of this relationship, <laughs> then that's what it was going to be. That's exactly what it was going to be. <laughs> Here come Rosie doing the morning show. So I, I hope this has helped, guys, as I'm closing out the morning show. Can I close it out right fast? Yeah. Would you like to say good morning? Good morning. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining conversations about your everyday life and finances. My name is Yamitra Jojo Waddell, the only Live Past Crazy Special. So what better place to be than here with me today? Take that seriously on this wonderful Monday, this Mayhem Monday. They say good morning, Rosie. Uh, don't be like me. Don't be a bully. Figure out. Please don't. Yeah, don't be a bully. Figure out. Do the work to get down to the bottom of it and figure out why you are a bully for real. Don't lose the friendships, don't lose the relationships because you're trying to protect yourself when you're really hurting yourself.
questions and conversations for today. I hope this has helped somebody. Please don't forget to share the show because sharing is caring. And if your friends and family do not have Facebook, please send them over to the YouTube channel where they can binge watch all the Fearless Morning shows over there. All right, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you here bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one.